Hey, what's going on? This is Dialect uh, from Newark, New Jersey. Uh, the turntablist is still, he's uh, the newest member of the band. Uh, he's from uh, Freeport, Long Island. Um, like I said, just an uh, amazing turntablist with, with traditional skills as well as experimental skills on the turntables. Um, and Octopus is my uh, co-producer, and uh, he's the guy that's running the laptop and the mixing board and the, the delay units and whatnot. So um, the, the three of us composed the, the group dialect. Uh, basically, I mean, I just wanted a different way to spell the word dialect, which uh, was the tag that my boys gave me. Um, unfortunately, I picked the, I picked the way that uh, Doctor Who or whatever the robots from Doctor Who. So we have that association, even though Doctor Who wasn't necessarily the most popular program in Newark when I was growing up. So, <laughs> but um, you know, we'll take those fans too. That's cool. And I'm just, in my mind, I'm just trying to continue what bands like Public Enemy and Boogie Down Productions did. Um, you know, especially um, uh, Public Enemy with uh, the whole production, like the wall of sound, um, you know, intelligent lyrics. I mean, I think what, what people think about when they think of hip hop now doesn't really reflect hip hop's history and um, how much hip hop had to offer, especially in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, unfortunately, it uh, became more of a commercial music. So uh, I think the new stuff has, I mean, not, not all of it, obviously. I mean, there's underground hip hop, you know, case in point, that uh, still holds true to what hip hop was. But uh, I think a lot of it has more akin to pop music, such as, you know, Christina Aguilera or whatever. I mean, to me, like, a lot of that stuff is just prepackaged product, which, you know, entertainment is nothing wrong with entertainment, but uh, I'm in this to be a musician, you know what I mean? Both the soul too old to care, spare this thing amongst my people, the first people in this 
bad times have just started. So like these, this, this round of bad times, you know what I mean? So um, I'd, I'd, give, I'd, give, um, I'd give our president a few more years to fuck up the country a bit more. And um, I, think, I think we'll see a lot, a lot better art come, come from that. I mean, if you, look at, if you look at what spawned hip hop, the economic situation, the political situation in the early 80s, to late 70s to early 80s, um, there, I think there's a lot of parallels to now, you know? So the way you had in, you know, the way you had in the 70s, you had disco that had no message. Hip hop came from that world and had a very strong message. So um, I think, you know, especially music, everything runs in cycles. So I think it's just a matter of time before you start seeing those kind of artists bubble up to the surface again. I mean, they're, they're obviously there. It's just a matter of searching for them right now. Uh, we've just been we've been lucky enough to uh, to meet some amazing musicians, um, all of which stems from the amount of touring we do. Um, I mean, for an example, last year we spent ten ten months out of the year on the road. This year it's going to end up being about seven months out of the year. So because we travel so much, we get to meet a lot of people. Um, I mean, we've we've worked and some of the people we met on the road, like we've worked with uh, Techno Animal. Um, we did a split twelve inch with them. Uh, I did lyrics on their album. Um, Brother of the Bomb, uh, did, they did a remix for uh, this guy's second gen, which I did vocals for as well. Um, this band Velma from Switzerland, we did a split 12 inch with them. Uh, Sofa Surfers from Vienna. So there's a lot of European artists that we've worked with. Um, here in the US, I mean, it's, uh, I've, I've um, produced bands like uh, Jet Brando, which is more of like a rock outfit. Um, produced the Oddity record, which is another hip hop record. Um, you know, so like we definitely have worked with varied styles of artists, not just hip hop artists, but uh, I think it's important just, you know, to keep your mind open and just to be able to hear new things and new sounds. Um, what's that all about? <laughs> but uh, I mean, like when, when you look at early hip hop, you know, you had artists like Africa Bambata that were sampling craft work, you know, so obviously, when hip hop began, since there was no hip hop, hip hop artists weren't listening to hip hop, they were creating hip hop. So you had to be a fan of all types of music. I mean, as a DJ, you have to be a fan of all types of music. And um, I think to some degree, that's the one thing I think that um, a, a, a lot of the, of the hip hop world has kind of lost sight of. I mean, there's like these parameters and regulations now of what is considered hip hop and what isn't, which is kind of a ridiculous, situation to be in when you think of what hip-hop really is i mean hip-hop is taking everything around you and making it into your own um so in, in that sense i mean the music we make is absolutely true hip-hop just because of that sense i mean it just so happens that we're influenced by different bands and you know we've gotten to collaborate with a ton of different bands We've used laptop for a while. Um, I think we might be the, one of the only hip hop groups that uses laptops, which is kind of it's kind of weird. I mean, I got, it just seems like the easiest thing to do, you know. Um, it gives you the most flexibility. It gives you the ability to, you know, do so many things sonically and um, arrangement-wise. So we've just, you know, we've uh, we've changed DJs over the years. Um, still, obviously, is uh, our new turntablist and. Uh, what he's doing with the turntables right now is absolutely perfect in our band. I mean, he's playing the turntables as an instrument, so there's a lot of that going on during the live set, a lot of improv with, with that. Um, we have a laptop, uh, delay units, uh, all types of effects units, and um, on stage, obviously, I'm just the MC. Like, I only rhyme in the studio. I produce the music as well, but it'd be kind of silly to have a headset on on stage and uh, working behind a computer or a sampler or something, so I've relegated myself just to be the MC on stage. Thank <laughs> you. 
pain Got a feeling you can name the You are sense the rhyme ain't consequential I met you halfway in the maze empty handed Never forgot that the beast is branded I communicate to agents in Sanskrit And this is loose and close to conjure a false crime I need words to be so called MC This kind of crime So now I stop in my first culture Nicely back and through the course of motions Don't be rolled up just a shadow of a sign Rock your commodity Peace to the last variety Let us rise to aim Let us rise to aim my eyes are so vast and serious I'm grateful to do it 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 I don't know if I'm necessarily a fan of just one guy on stage with a laptop because that tends to be a bit tedious and a bit boring. I mean, if I wanted to see someone work on a computer, I could go to an office. Um, there needs to be more than just that. Um, but uh, for, for us, I mean, for our live show, um, the European audience has been and continues to be absolutely amazing. I mean, we, uh, we just got back from playing, you know, festivals in Italy and Slo like Slovenia, where we played in front of like 7,500 people. Um, Italy for, you know, a couple thousand people a night. I mean, even the smaller shows are between, you know, whatever, like they're at least in the hundreds, you know what I mean? So they've, uh, and it, you, you, we've definitely felt like that, that change where you could see that people like know the songs and people are actually coming out to, to see us perform, which is obviously a nice feeling. Whereas um, here in America, I mean, it's still, America's a huge place, so it's still an uphill battle. And, you know, there's so many musicians here, so it's, it's kind of like, we gotta, gotta just keep on touring here and you know trying to trying to break that open. But um, you know slowly but surely, I think I think it'll happen. It's just a matter of you know continuing to play. And I mean like that in that in that sense, we kind of keep like the punk rock ethic in the sense that you know I really do believe in the fact that if you play enough, people, you know, you're gonna find your audience and you're gonna be able to you know do what you do. You know, and I think where we are right now, especially being on Ipecac, is, you know, a perfect place for us. Um, it's not the kind of label that gives us crazy, you know, tour support or whatever, but that's not what we need. What we need is a label that understands the kind of musicians we are, understands the music that we do, and gives us the freedom to do what we want to do and you know gets gets our gets our records into the stores um obviously you know gets us the press that we need and uh i mean really where, where it lies in is you know us playing live i mean that's that's what it's about i mean i don't you know you you can hype a band up as much as you want but most of those bands last for about five minutes you know what i mean like i'd rather be the band that no one hears about for another 10 years but i steadily build you know, the credibility and I steadily build a following and an audience because to me, that's more important. I mean, staying true to what you believe in musically and just playing the shows that, you know, that you want to play. I mean, that's what it's about. It's not about, you know, hey, you know, I read about him and whatever, or, you know, this, this critic says he's the whatever, you know what I mean? Like that to me, like that's all secondary. So fuck, 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 so fuck,
Right now, I definitely would have to say is the bug from uh, from England. Obviously, you know, there's some inside connection there because it's Kevin Martin from Techno Animal. But um, even if it wasn't my boy, honestly, I think that record is probably one of the best records I heard in a long time. What he's doing to dance hall is absolutely amazing. And uh, unfortunately, I mean, I'm hoping that things change here in America because it seems like people are more on a on a Jamaican tip a little bit. Like they're trying to starting to get into reggae and dance hall and dub a little more in the mainstream, so maybe things will change for him here, because I think people definitely need to hear that. I mean, the caliber of MCs that he has on there is ridiculous. I mean, he just released a single with Cuddy Ranks. You know what I mean, like, you can't, like, people definitely got to check that out. I mean, that, um, I mean, bands that are active, because most of the bands I listen to are inactive, like My Bloody Valentine and All Natural Lemon Flavors, but um, I don't know, Isis? Again, name dropping people on my label, <laughs> but you know, honestly, you know, I'm I'm a big fan. Um, well, I, I don't know. Outside of that, I can't really think right now. We, we've released, you know, split 12 inches here and there um, that we've basically recorded on the road. Um, this tour right now, uh, this U.S. tour is going to be our last tour for at least a year, year and a half. And uh, we have the skeletons for two records in the works. Um, so we just need the time to actually go home and make those records, you know, happen. So we are... Uh, we're definitely, we're looking forward to touring right now, but at the same time, we're looking forward to getting home and getting started on our, on our next album. So I don't, I don't think they're gonna be released simultaneously, but we just wanna get them out of the way and record them. And uh, you know, after that, our next tour will come out with a brand new song. So definitely looking forward to that. Any themes you're working on for some of them? Oh, that's a secret, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, give you, I'll tell you this much, it's not gonna be a happy record. Thank you so much, man. It's good to be back here.